Welcome back to Metzger's Analytics. We got a two-part series here talking about the Power Ranking Tournament. If we take a look now, we are about to get to the finals. But what I looked at was the top 16 finish finishers. So anybody who got to... Nope, not this level. Um, this match here. So both sides of this game, what their skills were, uh, anything else interesting to note, um, Six versus Legends. But one thing we're really seeing now that I want to touch on is Field Trains. So this Carpate DM team keeps winning and has blown past a lot of other teams. And if you look at his skills, they're not as elite so what's what's the difference one thing i've noticed is um some of these top teams are uh, making field trains so not him but pretty much everybody else so field number one field number three one not there catcher yep and left field. There doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason, so I uh, kind of noted those down. Also looked at the skills, trying to see what do you need to get make to get into the tournament. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Um, the emphasis on fielding. So why fielding? Um, probably the batting stats doesn't matter. It's just just the skills. So you add to. Yeah, increase fielding and you reduce run scored. Maybe. That's all I can think. It's random of which cards they do and why. But it does get me to think about rethinking Mentor. So, if we look at Mentor, haven't looked at this in a while, but made some changes recently. And I got one more to make. So, let's just go through mentor all of it so high focus no runners on uh or for two batters or three batters getting an extra base hit if there are runners so i think either of these two are good i had high focus for the longest time i decided to change it up shake uh stamina does decrease if First two batters are on base, or if uh, three, four, five get an extra base hit. So basically, these two things should be paired up, whatever you choose. Um, I wouldn't do this on the foul ball. And six, seven, eight, if there's runners, well, chances are you're, you're, you're going to get more at bats, three, four, five. So just the number of chances of this being active is, is, higher um this one definitely so if you got a pinch hitter same grade of the same grade so it's got to be black diamond same position and it's only the first position they look at so um but this one uh pinch hitter on his first attempt is that his first at bat or the first swing i don't know um, I might have to revisit that. Um, generally this one slower because my starting pitchers are generally better quality. No choice there. Uh, qual, this is one I, I switched from batting to pitching. Uh, if you're tie or losing, so two batters to help hitting versus um starting pitcher against all nine batters if they start in the sixth most of them make it to the sixth um you're if you're at a 1-0 game let's say you're winning 1-0 you start the sixth start the seventh setup guy comes in in the eighth and closer comes in the ninth that's how the 
AI will run. So you're going to get two innings of additional help. So I switched it there. Uh, chances of not allowing a hit for relief pitcher. Uh, yeah, you can have relief pitchers come in mid inning, but um, the first pitch after a pitcher's changed, eh? I I don't I don't know. I didn't really see anything that that was already there. Um, third at bat against the same pitcher. You probably will get three at bats against the pitcher. Um, velo. Seventh, eighth, ninth. I actually did have. I did switch it far away from the pitching to the batter. I could always switch back. Uh, my general thought was that if your pitcher's still in the eighth or ninth, you're kind of blowing them out anyway. Uh, otherwise, your relief pitcher is going to come in definitely by the seventh. So. I'd at least give one one to the bat. Uh, extra base hit if there's no runners with two outs versus getting hit after a stolen base. Now, I mean, there's stolen bases are broken in this game, so you're not getting any stolen bases. Um, speed of Ill infielders versus a uh, bunt attempt. Bunt attempt is good if you're doing a lot of um, PvP. Definitely, um, which is why I had it on for a while, but I haven't really been playing much PvP, really. So, um, Solution Instinct, uh, Extra Base Hit uh, versus Closing Pitchers never come on before the ninth inning. That just doesn't happen at all. So you're just you just have one choice here. Back to back, home run after home run. This actually happens enough. Um, uh, and then there's not too many walks. Uh, let's see. Next, Velo, fourth at six versus first, second, third. Uh, I like this one just because your stamina might be dropping off a little bit. Fourth, fifth, sixth gives you a boost. Uh, match everybody plays on a team. Uh, all right, so this is one thing I'm tr trying to change. I had um, ability to hit fastballs. I'm now doing it ability to pitch fastballs. I'm going to switch over breaking ball as well. And where are we at? Uh, win streak. I've had win streak for a while at Pitching Machine um, when I first started, but now I sw had switched over to win streak. Uh, you still see a lot of win streaks in the top, so definitely applicable. Uh, Charisma. I switched back to Charisma from Finesse Pitcher. Uh, finesse pitcher, there's a lot of finesse pitchers out there, but you could go, you might have a starter with boss, dominant, and control master. So you have no, no use of this skill for your entire game. Whereas if you look through opponents, they usually have at least two or three charisma. So it's, charisma is going to help at least. Part of the time. You're not going to go a whole game where it doesn't have any impact. And then, of course, this. Um, just depends on who you have more of, I would say. Uh, back then, I had a lot more SIG batters. Uh, I might have to switch to pitchers. I'd have to do a recount, though. I might, I might have to switch that, so... All right, well, that is the mentor review. Kind of rethinking it. We talked about it a long time ago, but it's worthy to make a refresh. How am I sitting and ranked? 
184. I was up at eight. It was a nice midweek, um, but it's pretty brutal. All right, we got a few packs to open. Ones I've just been saving. Uh, team select diamonds. Too bad there's nobody really I'm hunting. Neil and Peterson. Uh, oh, Spat. Oh, yeah. I got that so I could get the, the green tickets. Flores, Conforto, Wheeler. Slap Sig, Sig. Man, I love Nito. All right, we'll just take Flores and he'll go into special training. Not that he will make the lineup, but nobody else will either, so. All right. Uh, there's a couple, like Cliff Floyd and Carlos Delgado that's come out recently, so I don't think they'll make the lineup either, but nope. Nope. Nope, nothing exciting so far. There's Pete's 19 card. That's who I used my sick change on back in the day. All right, uh, one more. Nothing. All right, we'll open these 10 diamond packs. Prime? I don't know. Lee, give me a legend. Ha. Huh. Nothing. And we'll try these. Yep, there's a prime. Take that. Not that I'm going to use them, but... In case they ever bring back somebody, then I can combo for it. Uh, if they brought back like David Wright or who would I like to see for primes? Oh, um, Dickie. Uh, I guess we'll do 20 of these. Finish it out. And then I'm going to do everything else from Excel. Never get diamonds in these. It's very, 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 very rare. All right. Well, that'll wrap it up um, for this part. And we'll be back with... The looking at the skills from the powering tournament. So stay.